Chris, so obviously when you look at this game and you're the Yankees, you have to be concerned and you have to really focus on Jay Happ. We saw some indecision there. We saw some um, lack of, uh, of agreement between he and Gary Sanchez. What did you see? Well, it's kind of the culmination of a tough year for Jay Happ as he's trying to figure it out. I'm sure he's getting a lot of advice from not only Larry Rothschild, but the analytics department on which pitches to throw, when to throw them. It's created some confusion. You can see that kind of manifest itself tonight with, with Gary Sanchez and Jay Happ actually stepping off the rubber three or four times. And then the long discussions in the dugout in between innings. And, you know, the home run ball came back to bite him again. It just seems like it's one of those years where every time Jay Happ makes a mistake, goes over the fence as he now has 20, 20, uh, 31 home runs given up on the year. I mean, that's a, that's a rate that he's not used to, even though he is a fly ball pitcher. It's just kind of been that kind of year for Jay Happ. He can't figure out which way to go. And home runs don't necessarily sink you as a pitcher because the guy who's given up the most home runs in the league is Justin Verlander, but he's pitched very, very well. He's kept other runners off the base, and it's the fact that that Jay Happ is a veteran, and he's been doing this for a long time. He's been very successful pitching this way. How come it hasn't worked this year? Well, that happens to every pitcher at some point in their career. We all go through it where you have to make adjustments and you have to change your style and become less predictable. And, and you know, when you lose a little bit off your fastball and when you get up into your mid-30s, uh, it, it, it's undeniable. It's going to happen to everybody. And the ones that make the quicker adjustments are the ones that seem to succeed. Now, I can't put it all on Jay Happ. I mean, the Yankees have have uh, won 16 of his starts or 16 and 9 now in his starts on the year so you can't put it all on him as as far as that goes but certainly it's not the performance that he expects or what the Yankees expected when they signed him in the offseason 